standard form for a parabola. Did you all notice that every single time I did this, I had a y minus k on every one of these, and I had a y minus k on this one? But this time I have a plus k? It's because they moved it to the other side. They really shouldn't have, but they did. That's why this thing was always seemed like it was backwards. So if it was y, it would be minus k? It would be minus k. They moved it over here so that y would be by itself. It's, I think it's a bad idea. I personally prefer to keep it at y minus k, but it's up to you. If you move it back, it doesn't, it, it'll work. It just, uh, another way of writing it. So anyway, here's our equation. Let's, let's do this guy. y equals one third x plus two squared minus five. Sir, no, it's it, it's just minus five. It, 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 k in this case is going to be negative five, isn't it? Why? Um, hmm. That's a really good question. Hang on, I'll write it down. Got the inside. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Let me show you something. Um, do you remember where your vertex was for this guy? Remember how you got your vertex that you zeroed this out? Okay, look what happens, and, and I'm going to show you from both sides, and hopefully I can make it clear. In order to get my vertex, I need to zero the squared part. What value of x gives me a zero here? Negative 2. Now remember that we just stuck this number right there? Whatever this number was, it just went right there. Yeah. And it seemed like we were doing two different things. The reason that we put this number here, and let me show you something. Does everyone see if I put a negative 2 in here that I get a 0? Yes. And that was the point of choosing negative 2 was it gives me 0? Mm -hmm. Look at what happens when I put it in. I'm going to put a negative 2 for x. Watch this. Doesn't it make all this 0? Yeah. What's y? Negative 5. Does that make sense? Got that? If x is negative 2, then y is negative 5. Got it? So, it looks as if for parabolas there's something else going on. And there really is. What they did was this 5 really should have been plus 5 on both sides and then with the y so that I zeroed it out. But if they moved it over here. Plus negative five. Oh, okay. It's really hard to see that, but I think it's, it's, it helps. Anyway, if you don't see it, it's no big deal. Basically, guys, I would write this purple equation like this. Now, this is the same thing. Do you all understand that I can add five and it's the same equation? If I add five to both sides, watch this. This equation is the same as this equation. All I did was add 5 to both sides. Does everybody see the negative 2 makes this 0? Yeah. And to make this one 0, I need a negative 5. But what they did was they moved the y over here so that it had the wrong side. They moved that negative 5 over here so it ends up having the right sign because it got moved across, however you want to think of it. So either whenever it's plus 8, you change that to a negative? No. No whatever this number is. This is this. Is that better? It is negative 5 because it's on the wrong side. It, it, you'll get it. it. Just practice it a little bit and you'll get it. Anyway, uh, negative 2, negative 5 is our vertex. So let's go to negative 2, negative 5. Now, for some reason, everybody had a horrible time with this last period. I don't know why. Um, can everybody draw their standard parabola? Yes. I, I had you practice it. You just draw it on both sides. Now, if you need to, you can, you can count them. You can count it up. Your standard parabola is not the one-third. 
Your standard parabola is the 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Yes? Oh, okay. I'm drawing, I'm drawing a standard parabola. The standard parabola is the 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and the negative 1 squared is 1, Whoa. negative 2 squared is 4, negative 3 squared is 9, and it always looks like this if this was a 1, right? Now this is our what if. Y equals 1 times x plus 2 squared minus 5. If I was graphing that, I'd be done. But I'm not. I'm going to compress it because I have a one-third out here for n. Because my n is one-third, this thing gets compressed. I go from here and I squish it, right? To one-third is high. Watch this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. One third of 17 is about 6, approximately. So you just go 3 up and that's all? No. No. Adam, get it. Uh, okay. It's not an easy idea. I don't get it. I am going to take this graph. Y'all see this blue graph? Yeah. I get this. This graph is y equals x squared move to here. This blue graph is right here. This is a standard parabola. It has a leading coefficient of 1. This parabola has a leading coefficient of one third. So what's going to happen, I am going to take this and compress it to here. This point, instead of being here, is right there. It gets pressed down. This point gets pressed down, and I end up with this graph. 